So, where can I fly as a Boeing 777 pilot based in Dallas, Fort Worth? Great question. Hi, my name is Darren. I'm a dad, airline pilot, husband of a scientist, and I just switched from being an Airbus pilot to being a Boeing pilot. I'm not going to be flying a Boeing 777. Based in Dallas, Fort Worth, I am a first officer. Uh, in my status, there are 201 pilots total. Of that 201, I am number 193 for now. It gets better here in about five months. I'll be number 180 or so. Ooh, oh, more than that. Like 170. Anyways, uh, out of that 201, 147 pilots would be a line holder. And then there'll be 54 more reserves. Now, if you do the math, I'm in that bottom 54. I'll probably be reserved. It's a very small chance. Almost none I'll be a line holder. But I could. Now, as far as where can I fly next month? Great question. Many fewer cities than I flew to at, uh, or at least overnight at, uh, on the Airbus. So on the 777 out of Dallas next month, they have scheduled overnights in ABC order of Boston, Paris, Dublin, Rome, Frankfurt, Honolulu, LA, London, Madrid, and Tokyo Narita. That is it. The Airbus had like six or seven times that number, which, you know, different fleet, I'm fine. Now, as far as me bidding next month, yeah. Uh, my airline is that they're gonna build a line for people that want lines between 76 hours and 47 minutes and 90 hours and 47 minutes. They're targeting you to have about 83 hours and 47 minutes worth of time per pilot that's a line holder. That will not be me. As far as being on reserve, which I'll probably be for the first time in years, uh, I have to have at least three days on block, max seven days on block. What does that mean? Let's talk about it. So, a reserve pilot. All we know is what, to, what day we have to be available to the company. Now, what they do is they have two kinds of reserve, long call reserve and short call reserve. As a long call pilot, you get at least 12 hours notice before you have to be at the airport ready to sign in for duty. For short call, it's less than 12 hours. How does that work? Well, let's, let's pretend I'm a long haul pilot, long call pilot, and I'm on reserve starting on Monday morning at midnight 01 and I'm on reserve for five days all the way through Friday. They can call me at midnight 01 and say, first officer bird. Hi, this is Trey, Trey and uh, scheduling. We have a trip for you. Sign in time is today at 1 PM at two o'clock. You're leaving and you can fly to London and everything else they're going to do. That is a long call assignment. Now for a short call, it's different. Thoughts on short call reserve and my status is different per status. They have a wrap Reserve availability period either of either 8 a.m., noon, or 4 p.m. That's it. Meaning, okay, I'm on short call reserve Monday morning at 8 a.m. I'm on reserve for five days. They can't call me until 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, they call me 8 8 8 o'clock on the dot and say, first officer bird, we have an assignment for you today on the 777. You're leaving at 1130. You have 1130 sign-in time, 1230 departure, and you're flying to... And it could be a full five-day trip, but it's less than 12 hours notice. Now, saying they could also call me at 8 in the morning and say, we have an assignment for you at 1 in the afternoon, at 4 in the afternoon. There are limits of when your wrap starts and how long you can actually work. But it can call you anytime after 8 o'clock to give you an assignment. Now, strategically, I'm betting the 8 o'clock wrap goes senior because most 7 flights leave in the afternoon, evening. So less chance of being called 8 in the morning unless it's a delayed flight from the day before. Or um, maybe that noon wrap might be really senior. I bet I'll get a 4 p.m. wrap as a short call reserve, which is fine. As far as the pay difference between short call and long call, it's three hours. If you're a long call pilot, you get 73 hours of pay for the month minimum. And if you're long call or short call, you get 76 hours of pay minimum for the month. So it's, it's a small sh- financial incentive to bid short call versus long call. Just a quick comparison between this aircraft and my previous aircraft on the Airbus in Dallas. The wrap times for short call are 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., and 11 a.m. for the Airbus. But 7.3, a little bit different in Dallas. It's 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 1 p.m. I think they have more, a lot more late night flights out of Dallas than they do uh, on the Airbus. But it's different in every base. Uh, other bases, I see 5 p.m. wraps out of L.A., uh, 3 p.m. wraps out of Charlotte, 4 p.m. wraps out of uh, Miami, and that's about it. The earliest wraps that stop 
tend to be, I guess, Boston has two, five, eight, and eleven. I can't write this at all. But yeah, those are that's short call uh, reserve wraps anyway. So we'll see what I and, I and so if I get short call reserve next month, I'll bid for my wrap later on in the month. Now, what is my strategy going to be? Well, let's talk about that too. My top choice looks like this. Uh, I am carrying in some OE days for the first three days of the month. I'm going to ask for three, three days off. And basically three days off, three days on. Three days off, four days on, two days off, five days on, two days off, four days on, two days off. Now, understand that that's a must off, which is really hard to get when you're very junior. My next more likely one is just I want weekends off. I said I prefer to have weekends off. Well, and we'll see if I get it or not. Uh, there is a one day next month where they pay extra money. It's a holiday on May 27th. So that could help me get the day off because people that are senior will want the extra money for that day. But we'll have to see. Now, bidding reserve, all I'm telling the airline is I want this schedule. And I can say I want just short call or, hey, try a short call first. And if that didn't work, then try long call or vice versa. If I absolutely need days off, like an important event, I can must off those days and the schedule program will try to give me that day off. But if they have a, they have a, if they're short that day, it could break that layer and I cannot get the day off at all. So much for continuity. I'm filming this much many hours after the first part of the video, but bidding is very complicated. Uh, I get my results from what I get on the 16th for either long call or short call. Then on the 20th is when I bid for my wrap. I hope to get a short call. Uh, so I'll make a video between the 16th and 20th. Put your questions in the comments. This is a different kind of video for me. It's more than one take and it's landscape. And I make videos to, so I can explain parts of my career that seem a little bit mysterious. If you have a question you have about being an airline pilot, drop it in the comments, man. I'm always looking for content creation and ideas. As always, have an absolutely wonderful day and thank you for stopping by and consider subscribing. I'm a little bit, a little bit interesting. Thanks.